What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have a tutorial this time and I'm gonna show you how to change the fonts on your iOS 16 device using an application based on the Mac Dirty Cow exploit. Now this will basically change the font on your device running iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2 and it supports all devices that can run iOS 16, even the newer ones. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, bypass activation and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below, it could be pretty useful for second-hand devices. So as you probably know, a while ago an application was released called WDB Font Overwrite and this application allows you to change the font on your device running iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2 and it supports a variety of devices including the newer ones like the iPhone 14, 13, iPhone 12, even iPhone 8 is supported because it can run iOS 16. So I talked about this in a previous video but I never showed it in action, so let's see exactly how you can change your font. Now we start over in here on GitHub on the WDB font overwrite repo. You go over here to the releases tab and you will be able to find all the IPA files. The latest at the moment is version 1.10.3. So you press in here on the IPA file and you get it. And that's basically it. Once you have the IPA file, as I said, this works on all iOS 16 variants. Once you have this, you can sideload it to the device. You can use Alt Store for that, sideloadly, it doesn't matter. Just sideload it to the device. And now we can move over to the device and this is my device currently running the stock font you can see here is the default iOS font over here so no changes and this is the application we've installed WDB font override it looks like this and you have a couple of fonts in here now these are just a couple of examples but you can load custom fonts now it is a little bit complicated to load custom fonts there are instructions here on the WDB font override what you need to do in order to convert them for iOS format so in theory it is possible to install any font you want Want, not only the default ones but converting a font that is not present here might prove a little bit tricky so you can import custom fonts over here and you can even do custom emojis with this but it is a little bit complicated to get them into the proper iOS format but let's go ahead and select the default Samsung font the choco cookie over here so I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna restart the springboard and yeah that's basically it that's all you need to do now in settings as you can see here my phone is the Samsung one the choco cookie one instead of the default iOS font. Now this works for multiple applications. I'm gonna go ahead and open the clock one and as you can see this one also has the choco cookie font. So a lot of applications actually work like that. Even the phone application has the same font as you can see over here when you're typing you get that font. So yes with this application you can basically customize the font on your device running iOS 16 even without a jailbreak. Now this is based on a jailbreak exploit but it's not a full jailbreak so it's definitely nice. So yeah, that's basically it. It's as simple as that. The application is completely open source and as you can see it even supports messages and stuff like that. It supports the app store entries and the music application and whatever. So definitely check it out. It's completely open source. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.